Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. I have a confession to make. I kind of lied in the last episode when I said, uh, well, not really lied, I kind of forget about, forgot about this quest. Um, I said we were going to do the Brothers in Arms quest, but today I'd like to do the scavenger hunt for the Wolf School gear first, since we uh, kind of forgot about that in the meantime because it's actually uh, a quest that has a required level of 14 which is kind of weird because Care Morhen only becomes available yeah, pretty late tower. on. There'll be nothing but a pile of rubble soon. I don't know why but my weapons have been unequipped. Okay, there we go. Let's roll out and uh, take care of these thingies. There goes one. And there goes the other one. So let's uh, put that away. Loot the little guys. There we go. And let's head back up. Because this is the old signal tower uh, belonging to Kaer Morhen. And this is actually the starting point for the scavenger hunt. So let's take a look around. There's a chest up there, so that's probably it. Um, there's a ladder. There we go. Hieronymus's notes. My study of Elgar's armor has allowed me to devise new alloys and increase the magic conductivity of the second crystal. This might be the breakthrough I need in my work on the teleport. For my trial run, I have calibrated the portal to exit in the cave near the tower's base. I need now only charge the crystal with solar energy, for which purpose I have placed it in the outer wall of the tower, near the scaffolding. Only hours remain before it's entirely charged. I have finished my work on a diagram which will allow us to replicate this armor and equip the entire school of the wolf with it. Varen, the witcher's fencing instructor, has taken credit for this find, but it was I who, using logical deduction and only a slight dollop of magic assistance, uncovered the chamber where Elgar must have once resided. The space was hidden behind a primitive illusion. One needed merely look carefully to see through it. I found notes which indicate Elgar had worked out diagrams for improvements to this equipment, which he then hid for safekeeping in various locations around the world. Careful study of his notes allowed me to write up instructions on how to find these upgrades. I went to the old watchtower and gave this research to Kurt, or Chert, as soon as he finished preparing the silver sword, finishes preparing the sh silver sword diagram, he will set out to gather all the upgrade diagrams. Varen has the finished steel sword diagram and will begin forging blades based on it. I hope he will distribu distribute them to the poor lads he trains. They at least deserve proper equipment after going through the horror he calls training. By the gods, I think I see fire on the horizon, coming from where the old watchtower stands. I can also hear some kind of commotion outside my tower. The way down is blocked. What is going on? Some. Yes, indeed. So there's Pang of Conscience, a sword, and a letter of apology near this corpse as well. We all make mistakes, for to err is human. The key is to learn from one's errors. If something breaks, it must be fixed. And if our mistake harms another, the injured party must be recompensed for his frazzled nerves and lost time. We just apologize and ask for forgiveness. Evil is not what we do. See the PR. Hmm, interesting. And there's also, well, that's the chest I found the notes in. And then a lot of crafting stuff. And we might be able to get a higher up as well. I wonder if that crystal is still around here. So there we go. A crossbow and a lot more 
crafting materials and a barrel over here. Alco hast. So that's about it, I suppose. Search the ruined watchtower near Kaer Morin. In the Bastion. Use your Witcher senses to examine the portal's mechanisms. There we go. So that what that's what we read. Ooh, look at that. A portal. Hmm. Power cells missing. Need to look around. Maybe in the the chest over here. I really don't want it. Another sword. Well, there's swords of plenty, aren't there? So it was lodged in the wall. Yeah, there we go. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. So we needed solar maybe energy. Revive it. So maybe Igni will do the trick. Charge the crystal using the art sign. Okay then. As usual. Guess one cell's not enough. Oh yes indeed. Um where would the other one be? There's something around here. I'm gonna fucking die. Should be around here somewhere now. Okay, so I had to look around for it a bit because I thought it was at the base of the tower, but it's actually right here. Um, there's a tiny little hole in the wall here. Well, not that tiny, but it doesn't look like much. And you can head on the scaffolding over here, and there's the crystal. So that's blasted. Oh, I should actually take it if I can reach it without falling towards my death. Polished crystal. So now let's use the crystal to put it in the generator if Geralt would stop sliding like an idiot. Jump, you moron. Thank you. So let's put it right here. Right. Now to activate it and blast it open. And now, I need to jump into that shiny green thing. So I'm gonna save, just in case I just completely drop off, but jump! Okay, I actually ended up somewhere. Um, and it's pretty dark in here. But that looks pretty okay. Suddenly, Wraith! appears there we goes anything in here essence of wraith it seems just to be empty and here we have the diagram for the woven armor Boots, gauntlets, and trousers. So that's four out of six already. Notes written in a shaky hand. If uh, I get the prompt, I'm gonna read those, but... Uh... Ooh, this looks pretty high up. This is actually where I was trying to find it. Cannot move, spine broken, liver, perhaps spleen, pierced. New jumping into portal was extremely risky with only one crystal powering it. But still better than certain death at the hands of enraged peasants. Mob broke into tower, cut off path to second crystal, had to flee. Grab diagrams for wolf school gear before going, hoping Varen would come save me, save them. If not me, perhaps he will still come. Will he will come still? Will jump through the portal, retrieve his diagrams, rescue me? A foolish hope. My time is very short. So, uh, that guy didn't make it. Hieronymus didn't make it. No, 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 don't. Don't die now. I am gonna save. Because I've died once already trying to get, uh, up here. There we go. Okay. We're down. We're down, dude. We're down. So, now let's go. What's closest? The Bastion near Kaer Morin. So, here we are. The abandoned bastion near Kaer Morin. Uh, and there should be something hidden over here. 
and a lot of things that needs killing as well, apparently. Before the tribe of the grasses. I'm gonna need some uh, Spectre Oil. Because that protects me as well, if you uh, remember. Let's chop up some wraiths. And let's loot some wraiths. There we go. Anything here? I think there's another wraith down there. I'm gonna refresh my Quen. Equip Erden. And it's already teleported over here. Just in time for the uh medallions hopping. But I can't see us bound them to this place. The lamp will reveal more. Oh the lamp? Seriously? So let's equip the lamp. Where is that? Is that down here? There is apparently more going on around here. Those places that we can use the lamp on are usually marked with a green glow, but... I don't immediately see something. Maybe upstairs? Doesn't really show anything. Although I have the Wolf and Steel Sword now. So let's read Varen's journal. Elgar's gear is fantastic. I knew it at once, soon as I found it. Right away, I said every new Witcher we train should be given such equipment. That is, if we are serious about making monster slayers out of this band of prissy schoolboys. How many times must I ask our honorable resident mage to devote some of his precious time to actually work? Resident like that's as useful as a boil on the bottom. At least his assistant, Chert, knows a thing or two about metallurgy. The two of them have finally gotten down to work. The steel sword diagram is now ready and assuming they didn't file up anything, tomorrow I'll forge the first blade. I'll go to Chert's workshop in the old watchtower after today's training and see if he's finished the silver sword diagram as he promised. Then I'll go to Hieronymus's tower he should have finished that armor diagram by now. Thought I heard a signal horn in the distance a second ago. Hooch must be getting to my head. No one's fool enough to attack a keep full of witchers. While well, a band of angry peasants was. So... I really can't do anything with the lamp here. Why did Carol say it then? Because I'm not really seeing anything. I'm gonna quickly check upstairs, maybe. But otherwise, we'll head towards the ruined watchtower where we should find the silver sword diagram. Don't see anything. I see that I can go up there as well. Wait, there's something. You walked away from practice without my permission. You know that? Do not stop. Bleeding is no excuse. Now take off that bandage and get back to your training. You'll see to your wound when I say you're done. Okay. That was one of the memories, apparently. You walk. Let's not see that again, because we kind of saw what happened. Is that something as well? Oh, wow. That's really disorienti disorienting sometimes. 
nothing? Oh, maybe over here. Is that a sword or an egg beater? Strike from the wrist, not your elbow. Again. Okay. Ooh, more swords. And a lot of materials. Can I loot that book? Apparently not. Uh, now we can head upstairs as well. And take the ladder. What the hell? That looks weird. Um, maybe check with the lamp here as well. Might as well since I have it equipped. Doesn't seem like it. Let's head up the ladder. Must be his ghost that haunts the bastion. Maybe he'll leave if I bury his bones. A horde? Something's happening. You're to hide. Wait till I come back. Yes, I know you've trained with swords. You're still shit with them. I want you behind those rocks and keep your mouths shut. And then they apparently the all fork. died. No massacres complete without one. The Bastion. Pick up the old boy's remains. Boy's remains. I'm gonna do this in the meantime because we're still here. Is there anything else I need to uh, investigate? Because I think I've seen everything right now. Except maybe if I missed something downstairs. There's still a race going on. What the hell? This is gonna take a bit longer than expected. Ooh, use the ladder. Thank you. They're weaker than the other ones. But there are a lot of them. Which is good, because they always have good loot. Um, so bury the boy's remains. I should bury them over here, apparently. Burn body. Take care, kid. There we go. And that actually completes that quest. The Bastion. Because the little witcher in training died here. So... Okay, there we go. Didn't mean to jump over his grave, but... Uh, okay, so let's head back to the scavenger quest and I'll see you guys at the uh, old watchtower. So, we arrive at the old watchtower, the ruined watchtower. I'm gonna dismount if Roach lets me. Thank you. There seems to be something hiding inside as well. Another wraith! Surprise, surprise! I got something for you! As long as he's inside Erden, he can teleport, so he's kind of fucked. There we go, so let's... Look around here a bit, cured leather. There's a few things over here apparently. And a dark hole. I really like dark holes. Oh, and there we have the woven silver sword. And uh, Hieronymus' assistant kept a journal apparently. Chert. I write in great haste, for each moment might bring my demise. A band of peasants wielding all manner of sharp or heavy farmyard implements has stormed the keep. I was in the workshop when they attacked, working on a new silver sword diagram and did not notice the mob's approach. I have barricaded the door, but no, this cannot last forever. I can only hope Varen will come and rescue me before they break through. Luckily, we completed work on a new steel sword diagram a few days ago and gave it to Varen to forge. Armed with this fine weapon and aided by his witcher pupils, 
I'm sure he'll easily handle a bunch of peasants swinging hoes and rakes. Yet even rakes can do great harm to an unarmed scholar such as my master. Hieronymus has been shut up in his tower for days, absorbed in his work on a new armor diagram. He might remain oblivious still to the danger he is in. Should the mob find him before Varen can slice them down. And to think I nearly escaped this nightmare if I had only listened to my master. Hieronymus had drawn up some notes for me on locations connected with the legendary Elgar, a witcher of the School of the Wolf. It is said Elgar had devised some improvements to the school's gear, and I was to follow his trail in search of these diagrams. Had I left even as late as yesterday, I would have been a safe distance from Kaer Morhen by the time the mob attacked. Instead, I tarried, and now I cower, fearing for my life. So they all died in a... Uh horrible attack by a bunch of angry peasants and that's where, why there are so little of the school of the wolf left uh, so let's see if I can't find anything else here because the sword and an armor piece maybe something inside of this place doesn't look like it I wonder if I can get up there there seems to be a chest right over there. Maybe if I use this. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, and then. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Okay, I don't think this is what you're supposed to do, but I got there. Greater Glyph of Axi. And the enhanced wolf and steel sword. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here so uh, I don't have to check up on where I left that for when we do the actual quest. But I do want to get this. There's nothing special in here as well. There we go. Iron ingot and amber. So we're gonna have to return to this place when we uh, want to find the enhanced stuff. So, I'm gonna head to uh, Oxenford again and craft the entirety of the woven gear. So, see you guys there in a minute. So, back in Oxenford, it has been a while since we spent a lot of time in Care Morn lately. But, first, uh, let's pay a visit to our friend the armorer and uh, craft this lovely set of armor. I just extinguished his candle. I'm sorry, here you go. Back in one piece. Your textures haven't loaded, have they? Oh, there they go. Greetings again. Thank you. I'd like you to craft something. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. So let's see if we can craft this immediately. And the wolf boots. Where are the wolf boots? Wolven boots. There we go, not a problem at all. Wolven boots. Wolven armor, I suppose. Wolven armor. There we go. Let's close that and go for the wolven gauntlets, probably also the lowest on the list. Again, not a problem. And then the trousers. Should be no problem at all. There we go. I did run out of leather scraps apparently, so that might be a problem in the future. Uh, I'm gonna quickly see if I can sell a few things. There we go. Sold uh, my excess junk armor. Let's now head towards uh, my friend the blacksmith near the water. You know, the guy that I stole uh, a diagram from. Well, not really stole. Since I checked the recording and we actually just went into the sewer, so that's probably not his property anymore. Well, we kind of took his basement to get there, but uh, I don't think he minds. He has gotten a lot of money from me. In crafting all those weapons. So yes, a customer. Willing to craft something? Will you craft something? Yeah, he won't respond anyway, so... Okay, crafting components, crossbow, no new crossbows, but a silver sword. The woven silver sword. There we go. And I'll probably need one leather scrap for that woven steel sword. Yeah, and that's my last um, scraps as well. So, there we go. 
and I'm gonna quickly equip that after I sell my excess weapon, so give me a second. So there we go, all the excess stuff sold or dismantled, and now, of course, for the coup de grace, let's uh, equip everything. And there we go, woven armor and weapons. As you can see, it uh, looks a lot like what uh, Lambert and Eskel are wearing. Because, well, yeah, it's their armor. And it actually looks really, really cool. Because I might actually keep this on. Uh, I'm gonna see. I'm probably gonna wear the Griffin armor for a bit. But I think I can already do the quest for the upgrades of the Wolven armor as well. So uh, that might be something for the very near future. But without further ado, I'm gonna end this episode here. So if you liked the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, I really appreciate any support you can give me. So uh, if you don't mind pressing that shiny red subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!